Cameras are a key thing to know when you're working in Sublime. You can animate cameras to help tell a story within your scene, or you can use them to frame your scene for export, or they can be an easy tool to add more dynamic movement. First, let's take a look at the default camera, the personal camera. You might notice right away there is no layer in the layer panel for this camera. It's just the default camera. So if you want to add a camera, you can do that by clicking the plus icon here, scroll down and select camera. Cameras are a lot like objects, so you can move them around and you can lock them. Locking your camera is a really great thing to know. So if you're really happy with where your camera is and how your composition and frame is looking, you can lock that camera so you don't move it in the future by mistake. This is great for setting up your framing for your web export, for example. You can also animate your camera, and this is very easy. Again, a camera is an object, so you can add states to it. So in the base state, here we are pulled out, we can see our whole scene. Let's add a new state and zoom in. And now in state, we're zoomed in like this. Let's add one more state here and move the camera again. Okay, great. Now let's add the event and a transition so we can trigger the motion between these states. And we can do this in various ways. One, we can have it so the start event is applied to the camera itself, so it just automatically starts moving as soon as we hit preview in the scene. Or another way you could do this is if we want to click on an object and have the camera move towards it, we can apply the event to that object, say a mouse down event, add the transition and make sure to change the target on that transition to the camera that we applied our states to. So now when we click on this object, we are brought towards it. So this is a really fun way to create interactivity in your scene and help tell the story. And that's just one way of animating your camera and making it interactive. Another way is along a path. To do this, simply create a path using the 3D pen tool like this. Now add a camera and over here on the right hand panel, select align to path and then pick the path you just made. Now to animate this along the path is super simple. Just add a state. And in the second state, let's set the offset value to one. In type, make sure to select perspective. And now we can adjust the other settings here. And in the small panel, you have a preview. Add your start event and transition. And voila. You can set this option to infinite to keep the camera animation looping. To make it so your path is not visible, you can simply turn off the path layer with the eye icon here. Another cool trick if you want an object to be fixed in the scene is you can place it inside of your camera. So inside of your camera's group. If you do this, your camera is always looking at the object and it appears as if that object is fixed in space. That's it. If you enjoyed this quick tip video, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about Spline, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.